Well, actually, I hope you're more awake than I am. It's still a bit early in the day in the music industry, I know that. Um, my name is Mirka, I use she, her, and they, them pronouns, and I'm here to talk to you about the safer space policy on site. Um, before I do that, I want to issue a trigger warning. So um, I'm going to be talking about marginalization, discrimination, harassment, and other things. If you at any point don't feel okay, if you're emotionally triggered, it's totally fine to get up and leave the room. Um, you don't have to stay just because we're at the opening ceremony. It is um, the most important thing to all of us that you take care of yourself and your emotional needs. So um, I have a company called Save the Dance and we are uh, specialized on safer space policies. And um, as such, we worked with Boris Music Music and with the Berlin Music Commission on um, putting up this concept. Um, if you have any feedback uh, at any point, come and talk to me later. If you have questions, you can talk to me or the awareness team on site. We are now on November 15th. Last year, we were actually on November 9th. November 9th is also known as Reichskristallnacht, so a night of broken glass. Um, it's a very, very horrible event for the Jewish population in Germany. And I think we all need to remember that things have happened and it feels like we're going down the path where things are happening again. Not just for Jewish people, but also for trans people getting murdered, for people of color getting like aggressively beaten or harassed anywhere in the world, um, and all other people who face marginalization on a daily basis. This year's topic is humanized, and I think we all need to take a moment and think about other people and not just ourselves. Some of you might think it's not actually have, things don't have, haven't changed as much. Um, I think it's really time that we all take a minute to talk to our friends who are part of marginalized communities and to kind of like ask them how they're doing. I think if we all do that for each other, we will all help create a space where we know we all have an open ear, someone to listen to, to talk to, and that will make the whole burden a lot easier for all of us. Don't assume anyone will just share their daily problems because a lot of us have already learned the hard way that people don't want to know about your daily experiences. Um, and the thing is, what you don't experience yourself, it's very hard to see, it's very hard to know. So you have to learn to very actively listen and to actively see things because you haven't made the experience. And it's really great if you can share all of our burdens and if you all can lighten the load for each other. So why are we talking about safer spaces um, and not safe spaces? Well, it's very easy because one person coming in, even if it's unintentionally, can cause harm, can cross your boundary, can make you feel unwelcome, hurt, sad, angry. And that's the thing. It can be very different for each of you. So it's totally okay. Whatever you feel is valid. And that's what we all need to learn, that the boundaries of each person is individual and it's not like a set thing for everyone. So we're trying to create a safer space where we can look out for each other, where everyone can feel welcome and respected, where we really don't want to see any harassment or discrimination, no matter if it's intentional or unintentional, and where we have an inclusive event as much as possible. If you feel like you need support, like it doesn't matter, um, something happened to you, if it's here or outside of the event, if you just feel emotionally like you need someone to talk to because your private life is just a little bit going all over, you know, things happen to you, um, at any time you can come and talk to the awareness team. They are always available to talk with all of you. They are stationed at Palais and in the room next door at the whole time event, um, apart from Most Wanted Music Live, where they will be um, at the Kulturbrau, uh, Kesselhaus, I'm sorry, Kesselhaus entrance. But you can find the information in the swap card, you can find it online on the website, and it's also, have, uh, you probably have seen, I don't know where the next poster is, over there maybe? Yeah, I think over there. Um, it, it's in German and English, and it has all the information on um, what the rules are and how you can get support. We have a phone number, you can call them, you can text them, you can write a message on any kind of messenger, so they will come and be there and 
support you through whatever happens. And they will also be walking around with a red backpack, and um, it's actually said, I think it said like yellow A, but it's going to be a black A, sorry, um, the color has changed, but um, I think you will notice who they are. If you witness something and you feel like someone might need support, you know, you can always um, offer to let them know, you know, there's the support, or if you feel like you can offer support just by listening, do that for other people. We have the uh, five Ds of bystander intervention on our website. I'm also going to try and hang it up in the awareness points. So just check up what you can do if you want to support someone without crossing boundaries in the process. That's also really important. Just because you read something as a problematic incident doesn't mean the other person will also see it that way. We have a safe space um, or safer space retreat room. So if you need a time out, a quiet time, if it's too much, um, if you're new to version, for example, or just something happened and you just need to breathe, we do have that. You can also come to the awareness team at any time. As a non-binary person, I also want to kindly remind you that gender is not visible. Um, so try not to assume gender based on looks. Um, ask someone what pronouns they're using. And you know, there's some stuff that happens very easily. It's like when you say, hey ladies, hey boys, hey whatever. Like those things, I know they don't intentionally mean to hurt, but they are very hurtful if you do not identify like this. So we all try to do that more. I also have to remember sometimes because we just socialize that way. It's just a thing we do. The same goes, toilets don't have genders, that's why we don't have gendered toilets here. All of the toilets are non, um, uh, all gender, and we are not using the urinals because there have been like incidents for people who made f feel uncomfortable. So I think we have plenty of toilets available for everyone, and they're all, under, all gender. Just to remember that too. Um, yeah, and I hope you will have a great time. In general, um, I'd say consent is like key. Ask if someone wants to party with you, ask if they want to interact with you. You know, like, sometimes it might feel weird in a way, but it's good to ask every now and then if everyone is okay with what you're actually doing here. Um, if you need support, we feel survivors have a right to determine whatever they feel is right. So when your boundary has been crossed, if you feel harassed, if you feel you need support, we do not question that. We're not like going into looking what the incident is or we're not the police. So it's really important to us that just whatever you feel that's valid and that's something that we will take into consideration into supporting you. Um, not consideration, sorry, my brain is still, as I said, it's early in the morning. Um, yeah, we just believe your feelings and validation is like definitely the, thing, the way to go whenever you are supporting someone as well. I think with this in mind, I'm um, almost early uh, in my speech here, done, but I think um, being on time is a great thing. Um, as I said, come talk to me if you have any questions. Um, I hope you'll all have a great time. Remember to look out for each other. Ask if someone needs something. It really, it, it's, it's like when you have a bike accident and everyone walks past by and no one helps you up, you know? And sometimes it's just like, hey, are you okay? And it already makes a difference for the rest of your day. You know, and the same goes for emotional things. It's like, just ask, and if someone says no, fine. But a lot of the times people will like, yes, it would be great to just talk for a minute. So yeah, with that in mind, have a great event, and I hope to see you later. Thank you. <laughs>